Hello friends, let's study protein energy malnutrition, which is one of the most important topics in pediatrics. Although the word malnutrition refers to both over and undernutrition, but here we shall only deal with undernutrition. SAM SAM stands for Severe Acute Malnutrition. It is one of the major health burden in developing countries as per WHO. SAM can be diagnosed by using these four criteria. Weight is to height ratio. If less than 3 SD, minus 3 SD indicates SAM. It is the most important criteria out of the four and is calculated using WHO standard growth charts as shown here. If you want to know more, then watch my videos on general pediatrics highlighted here or in the description below. Severe visible wasting that is cacaxic look as shown here. MUSE mid upper arm circumference calculated at the mid upper arm by using an inch tape as shown here. You can learn more on it by clicking on the link in the description as a separate video on age independent indices for SAM. Bipedal edema which is elicited as shown by pressing at a point 5 cm above the ankle and against shin bone for nearly 5 seconds. If a pit is formed then pitting edema is present. Any one of these four parameters if positive indicates SAM. Now let's see the types. Note, although many features are overlapping, hence attention should be made more towards diagnosing as SAM rather than wasting time in putting the patient in any of the two categories. Let's start. A marasmic child is basically a baby with severe visible wasting, whereas in Koshyarkar, the child is mainly having edema, hence may give false satisfaction to the parents as being healthy. A marasmic child is usually alert and has good appetite, whereas Koshyorkar, the child is dull, lethargic and has poor appetite. Marasmus, the patient are more common and if you see carefully, their face somewhat look like a monkey or an old man face, whereas the Koshyorkar is less common and since edema, they lack such coarse facial features. In Koshyorkar, we can see the flag sign, crazy pavement skin lesions or the hyperpigmentation of the skin. As against the look, the marasmic baby has good prognosis as compared with the Koshyorkar. Now let's move ahead and see the clinical features in detail. Through clinical features or general examination, one can easily appreciate the severe visible wasting as Hath Agarbatti and Pair Mombatti. Now coming to the head, in the head you can see hairs which are sparse, thin, fragile and lusterless with alternate band of hypopigmentation called as flag sign. The patient may be alert as if staring or might be dull, lethargic or apathetic. Look for skin changes, especially the hyperpigmentation around knuckles indicating B12 deficiency. Pallor can also be seen in hands. Due to loss of underlying fat around the gluteal areas and cheeks, patient may appear as if wearing a loose, ill-fit pant and monkey-like or the old man facies. Edema may also be present and if abdomen is palpated, then hepatomegaly or the enlarged liver can also be seen, as shown. Let's move ahead. Although majority of the patient coming to a government setup are of socio-economically poor, but a thorough investigation must be done to rule out any chronic underlying disease such as malabsorption, recurrent pneumonia, TB, HIV, etc. or any other metabolic disease. Look at the management. One must remember that one has to avoid any aggressive intervention in the SAM patient as their body systems are working at their maximum capacity and hence any sudden change will be detrimental. Here one must remember to start slowly and gradually scale up just like a tortoise, slow but steady. Since majority of our energy comes from carbohydrates. Hence, here it is not surprising that these children will lack in carbohydrates and on presentation, hypoglycemia may be presented. 
therefore always check rbs in these patients to prevent it feeding these children is very important and that too frequently for this we start with increase frequency and low quantity of the diet and gradually shift to low frequency and high quantity of diet as shown in this graph for example we start with 11 ml every 2 hourly 11 ml per kg every 2 hourly and gradually increase to 20 ml per kg every 4 hourly feed can be given through as ks or ng feed as the child accepts let's move ahead now coming to the hypothermia the hypothermia is uh, occurs in the malnourished child is because of the less fat the less fat causes less insulation of the skin and hence the sam child is susceptible to hypothermia moreover since less fat less reserve for glucose therefore a hypothermic child may also be having hypoglycemia hence it is always recommended that if a child is coming in the cold stress or the hypothermia blood sugar must be done we should rewarm the child immediately and the temperature temperature should be regulated the child should also be fed since there is tendency of developing hypothermia and hypoglycemia together let's move ahead dehydration although difficult to elicit in sam child as the sunken eyes or the delayed skin pinch might be misleading which are due to loss of underlying fat hence here we look for mainly oral mucosa dryness and the thready weak pulse note unnecessary or aggressive treatment in sam patient is detrimental hence one should be slow and steady in treating sam the best management is done by using modified oral rehydrating fluid the term used here is risomal which is rehydrating solution for malnourished we ca- we also call it call it as mors let's see how pr- to prepare it this is a ready made pack but it is very less available in the market and as compared with the conventional ors packets let's see how to make it as home the take one packet of ors as shown here that is standard who ors add 50 g of sugar that is 10 teaspoon or of sugar or measure it that is 50 g of sugar 45 ml of kcl syrup 2 liters of water now mix it this solution is to be given in a condition of mild to moderate dehydration or the diarrhea in a malnourished child one must note or the key concept here is the sam is a condition of increased sodium and decreased potassium hence if you observe in this table the concentration of potassium is doubled whereas the concentration of sodium is halved now let's move ahead let's see the electrolytes which is the fourth point in management the electrolytes the most important is potassium in the potassium we give him the uh, as syrup potassium as 3 to 4 milli equivalent per kg per day for 2 weeks we also supplement calcium and vitamin as 2.5 ml to 5 ml tds we also give magnesium 50% as im stat and remaining along with the diet for 2 weeks and w- one must o- again remember that we have to use low sodium intake hence no sodium supplement is being offered now coming to infections the classical signs of infection like fever tachycardia local tissue reaction are often missing in sam patients because of decreased immune response hence we give empirical antibiotics in all sam patients one should also perform thorough investigation to find out the sources of infection let's move ahead micronutrients the micronutrients are very essential part in the management of sam and we can remember it as all vitamins and minerals are to be supplemented except iron now why iron 
since it promotes the free radical generation and the bacterial growth. Hence, iron is to be avoided especially in the first 7 days. Let's move ahead. Now vitamin. Vitamin A today, um, that means 0 day, tomorrow and the 14th day. 0, 1 and 14. Now which the dose is uh, according to the age that is if less than 6 months it is given 50,000 international unit if it is more than uh, 6 months to 1 year 1 lakh and if more than uh, 1 year then 2 lakhs. Now coming to vitamin K 2.5 milligram as IM or IV at the single dose as admission multivitamin vitamin A, B, C, D, E and vitamin B12 every vitamin vitamin B12 can be given as IM or IV zinc the 2 mg per kg per day as a tablet is readily available or syrup can also be given iron after the stabilization phase note the dose of the iron is given as 3 mg per kg per day now let's see the most important thing in the SAM management that is to initiate the re or to refeed the child. Now it is begined as small and frequent. Thoda, thodi, thodi der se. We prefer F75 diet. F75 means that is 75 kilo calories in per 100 ml of the diet. We give him as KS Katori spoon or the NG feed. One must note or one must remember in the SAM management, the oral part is the most important. We do not prefer IV in the SAM patients. So nutrition is by oral route only. In infants, we use milk based diet. In older children, we use cereal based diets. Each 100 ml of the diet contains 75 kilocalories per 100 ml and the protein is 1 gram per 100 ml we should start as 11 ml per kg per feed every two hourly and then gradually increase it our aim is to provide at least 80 kilocalorie per kg per day to 100 kilocalorie per day night time feeding is also very very important because it is often seen that the parents forget to feed their child at the night and the child is land, land up in hypothermia hypoglycemia in the morning if the child accepts the feed then gradually increase the calories now coming to the catch-up growth often mostly 99% children uh, takes up the feed by three days some take it by one day some some lack it by four days so there is no rule as if that after three days we have to begin the catch-up growth we can begin after one day also after four days also it depends upon the condition so let's see what is catch-up growth increase concentration of calories and proteins in a diet we have to basically concentrate the diet now the tip here is give calorie dense diet that is just like a chocolate bars or the candies we have to prepare it by ourselves in this we use F100 F100 is basically 100 kilocalorie per 100 ml in which the protein is doubled 2 to 3 gram per 100 ml and increase daily calorie intake from 100 kilocalorie to 150 kilocalorie per kg per day in this we offer 150 ml per kg per day as the F100 diet now let's go ahead and see the RUTF that is ready to use therapeutic food the ready to use therapeutic food in the places where we do not have mtc or the malnutrition treatment centers or the lack of resources there the small packets of rutf or the ready to eat therapeutic food can be made and after a patient regains the appetite he or she can be managed home based Usually these RUTF are pre-prepared according to the WHO and they are offered when, whenever the patient um, starts having or regains his or her appetite. So some of the advantage of RUTF are they are high energy dense food used in the setting where the inpatient facility is less available in order to decrease the duration of hospital stay 
home based management since no special storage is required it is so simple and easy to use that it all it need is water one must note is to continue the breast feeding or the other food item locally available it is just a supplement and should be associated with all other nutrition provided with local food breast feed etc now let's move ahead now coming to one of the important aspects in the sam management that is sensory stimulation sensory stimulation is very important as it helps in neuronal pathways development just like amblyopia you can search amblyopia on the net and the mechanism behind the amblyopia is same like the behind this sensory stimulation if we do not stimulate the child the pathways in in the brain do not develop hence often you see colorful paintings toys music and cartoons in the mtc centers now let's move ahead and see the last topic of this uh, management that is discharge the last part the 10th point that is discharge and follow up now here we have to remember three things to be seen before discharging that is the baby have chi- Uh, started smiling smiling is one of the earliest indicators of recovery hence one must see alert active and accepting child that is the child has started accepting the feed he has regained his appetite now the third point is regained weight that is he is gaining weight he is gaining more than 10 g per kg per day or at least 5 g per kg per day now the other things to be looked for are that is completed immunization the child has completed immunization caretaker is sensitized to take care at home and the child is receiving adequate micronutrients after ensuring all these steps we make the discharge and advise the parents for follow up now let's summarize what we have learned so far the who criteria severe visible wasting weight is to height less than minus 3 sd muac less than 11.5 cm or bilateral pedal edema any one of the them positive indicates sam now let's see the clinical features from head to toe severe visible wasting flag sign hyper or aler- hyper alert child or dull lethargic child monkey faces old man look baggy pants and or distension of the abdomen hyperpigmented knuckles these are the features of a patient of sam it is not necessary that all patient might have all the features but you will find some of the features in sam patients let's move ahead let's see revise the management the 10 step of the managements are hypoglycemia hypothermia dehydration electrolytes infection micronutrients cautious feeding or the refeeding catch up growth sensory stimulation and the prepare for follow up now all these 10 points are basically we can say uh, we uh, first 3 f- days are very important in the child so uh, in first 3 days we ch- try to stabilize the child so that he regains his appetite and start taking orally so the first 3 is stabilization phase and the uh, later part is the rehabilitation in the first 3 days we try to keep the child under strict observation uh, either in the icu or in the ward and then we shift the child to specialized treating center which are called as malnutrition treating centers mtc not often do the places have such centers hence in uh, stabilization phase we try to regain the appetite and later uh, send the patient home with rutf that is ready to eat therapeutic food this these are done in the places where the resources are not much available but if the mtc centers are available then rehabilitation becomes very essential and is uh, very very much helpful so the mtc treating centers are very important part of sam management thank you